In this video, we will see three different papers uh, where the dysentery and naibase have been used. Uh, since I was explaining the basics of dysentery and naibase using, um, using the simple example, simple data, uh, let us look at the papers which use dysentery and naibase in research. So, let us look at uh, naibase first. So, these papers uh, you know uh, dysentery and naibase has been used in research for long and there are a lot and lot of publications on dysentery is available. You can check uh, internet in Google scholar no? right, but let us look at a very uh, simple papers which is applicable here. What is the data they considered to predict the performance? So, to predict the performance they consider gender, uh, date of birth, um, it is for age, you know, uh, specialization, it is city they are from, secondary school name, status, father's job, student status as a pass or incomplete, uh, student has, uh, uh, that is the, that's the thing we have to predict, you know, uh, student status now. And uh, the student is married or single, that is a marital status and all the information is captured here. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 features and one uh, dependent variable to predict. So, with the saw values and they computed the frequency table um, like a machine computes a frequency table, then they applied a K-nearest neighbor and a decision tree, okay. Now, uh, in a decision tree, it is it's accurate, it is good, it's performance is good, that is the, that is the example. So, it is very simple, uh, in a student's profile information is used and uh, not their interaction to system, not their attendance or uh, not the marks in or something. Profile information is used to predict the students will pass the exam or not. So, very simple paper, uh, you can collect this information from uh, survey questions and you can use that, right. So, you can check this paper how they did it. They explained patiently in a detail, that is why I gave this paper. So, just like just check this paper. Um, Let us look at the next paper uh, that is for decision tree. Uh, in this paper, uh, the used uh, decision tree to predict the student's performance and uh, yeah. So, the data they use is uh, the nationality, student gender, the first language. So, what are the variables, decision variables, so category variables in decision tree is also see the gender is true and nationality can be 2 or 4 and uh, the first language is 1, 4 and uh, teaching language, the high school percentage is like uh, again 7. So, they have a multiple uh, decisions to make and uh, there are like a um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different features, right or more than that, see. Uh, So, previous semester marks, weeks, friends and the father's occupation, mother's occupation, qualification of the father, the student discounts, um, any parents working in the university, all this information has been used and they use this data to come up with the final data set. This is a final data set with the uh, all the decisions and also they given the values in each data set like uh, how they distributed across these particular values also given. So, given this data set, uh, they want to predict uh, students performance, right. Um, so, uh, this is just a distribution of the values, they want to show uh, how the data is distributed, this is descriptive analytics. And uh, given the table, they want to predict uh, uh, students uh, mark in the current semester. They used to see 4.5 decision to algorithm with a tenfold cross validation on data sets. The confusion matrix is shown here. Uh, now, you know what is uh, cross validation, what is confusion matrix uh, because now you are using, um, uh, we have seen what is confusion matrix for 2 or 3 variables. Now, you are able to see what is confusion matrix and you are able to make uh, sense out of it. Um, excellent to excellent classification is good, uh, 46 percent uh, like question, but recall is less because there are a lot of excellent has been classified as very good, right. So, look at that and um, in a in a in a C 4.5 uh, uh, classifier algorithm, what is the um, criteria to split the tree is used is uh, information gain ratio, okay? And the maximum size of tree should be four, not more than that. They, you can say that minimal leaf size should be one, okay? And the depth is how far the tree can go. So they don't want to grow a tree a very big or something. They want to make the trees um, pruning. The confidence gives the pruning uh, criteria also. 
So, they used uh, C4.5 also uh, ID3 it is exactly same information gain, maximum size, minimal gain also depth also can be given and that value is this. Okay. And uh, CART is uh, classification and regression tree as I mentioned uh, decision tree also can be used as uh, uh, regression that is what they did. So, they applied uh, decision tree different decision tree algorithms and uh, there is a reported results here. So, this paper will help you to understand uh, what are the features they collected, how they combine the features, how they made the decisions, how they use it to make a decision and what are the results to compare. So, this is one paper you, you can read and check it out. Okay, so, um, so let us look at uh, this paper. Uh, in this paper, it has both the decision tree and A base. Okay. So, in this paper, um, Yeah, so in this paper, uh, it is the demographic information of the uh, like the participants, like a female, male, age, graduate students, and everything, and uh, how many students registered, how many students uh, dropped out. So let's see. Yep. So this, do you remember? Uh, this is the equation we saw um, in the naive classifier. And uh, this also explains how an A-based assumption is helping you to make this uh, base theorem. And uh, let us look at it, yeah. So, I want to show this one thing. So, they used the decision tree, naive base, uh, nearest neighbor, naive base, nearest neighbor, decision tree and some neural network with three layers. Um, do not worry about that. So, naive base is performed like this. Hope you understand this curve, this is ROC curve. So, naive base is not good. Okay. Also, the nearest neighbor is not performed well, but decision tree performed well. Um, but although the uh, nearest neighbor like a neural network might have performed well. So, I just want you to uh, check these papers, uh, understand what is the paper uh, data you used and uh, what are the classifiers they use, how they report the results. Uh, I hope now you are able to understand the paper uh, which be detailed because now you know what is algorithm, how does the metrics. So, that helps you to understand the paper and it gives you identify the gap in the existing literature and that might motivate you to collect data on your own and you can uh, write your own paper, do some own research. So, that three papers are given in this, uh, uh, in this slide, you can uh, download and you can check those uh, paper details from scholar.google.com, it is all available freely. If not, I put that in the forum, uh, we can give a link where you can download that. So, there's three papers. So, can you list down application of decision tree and naive and uh, also what data is required, what are the features required and what are the categories in the features like what are the decision making values in the features. List down, um, this is based on you know what is decision tree, now what is naive base, now and you have seen three applications of papers. Can you list down uh, some of the applications of decision tree in learning analytics or the data from the learning environment. So, there is no answer, it is just if you list it down, um, just go ahead and try, uh, try collecting data if possible and apply these algorithms. If the results are good, different and uh, different context or different uh, than the existing research, please publish it in a good uh, venue, uh, international conference or journals. So, in this week we saw what is decision tree, uh, what is naive base. Um, you understood uh, what is naive base and uh, I talked about state transition sometime back. Uh, in the diagnostic analytics, if you can combine, if you can remember both uh, transition and a base theorem, I would request you go and um, check uh, Eden Markov model. Uh, it is uh, it's kind of, uh, if you know both, it is very easy to understand and very intuitive to go and next step will be that. But that is not part of this course, uh, that is completely optional. So, I hope you understood what is decision tree and neighbors. As usual, if you do not understand uh, decision tree and neighbors, go and check the videos available on the internet. The idea here is to uh, you to understand what is the concept or logic, uh, intuition begin these two uh, classifiers, not to understand all the mathematical uh, uh, or training parameters to be used in the uh, classifiers. Thank you.